Today we will be evaluating a series which is from the Journal of the Indian Mathematical Society. So we will prove that the following series hold, which is 1 plus 2 times by the sum from n equals to 1 to infinity of the term 1 over 4n, the whole thing to the third power, minus 4n is equivalent to 3 over 2 times by the natural law of 2. And most importantly, this problem over here is submitted by Ramanujan which is the famous Indian mathematician. And then it is also the first series submitted by him. So in this video, I will present two solutions to this problem over here, which the first solution doesn't utilize integrals to evaluate this series. And the second solution will utilize the integrals method. So for the first solution over here, I will first use the two, which is a fairly well-known fact. And that is the natural law of two is equivalent to the alternating sum which is 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 all the way up to infinity and it is written in the summation form that is the summation from n equals to 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of n plus 1 over n so this fact follows from the Maclaurin series which is the natural law of 1 plus x is equal to the summation from n equals to 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of n plus 1 over n times by x to the power of n. And then you set x being 1, which we will leave us with the alternating sum above. And I also want to mention that the radius of convergence for this sum is the absolute value of x is less than 1, and the sum also converge at the point x equals to 1. So for the first method, I will focus on the sum from n equals to 1 to infinity of 1 over 4n, everything to the power minus 4n. So when it comes to evaluating series like this, we will use partial fraction decomposition, which is a fairly well-known technique to evaluate sums like this. So what we will do is that we will let the fraction which is 1 over 4n the whole thing to third power minus 4n to be equal to well we can first notice that the denominator which is 4n to third power minus 4n can be written as 4n times by 4n everything to the second power minus 1 so this is a difference of 2 square which means this can be further factorized as 4n minus 1 times by 4n and 4n plus 1. So therefore, we will set this to be equal to a over 4n minus 1 plus b over 4n plus c over 4n plus 1. And then now, we shall multiply the whole thing by 4n minus 1 times by 4n and 4n plus 1 which then this clear off the denominator so we are left with 4n times by 4n plus 1 a plus 4n square minus 1 times by b plus 4n times by 4n minus 1 and c equal to 1 and now we can collect the terms with n square n and the constant part which then you can see that everything becomes 16a plus 16b plus 16c times by n squared plus 4a minus 4c times by n minus b is equal to 1. And so we note that this constant part over here is negative b and it must be equal to 1. So this means that we have that b is equal to negative 1. And we can also note that on the right hand side, the coefficients of n is 0. So therefore, this 4a minus 4c must be equal to 0, which means that a is equal to c. And so using these two facts over here from the coefficients of n square, by the same reasoning, we know that the coefficients of n square must be equal to 0. And utilizing these two facts, you can e easily get that a is equal to c and they are all equal to 1 over 2. So therefore, back to our original sum over here, we can now see that we can rewrite this whole thing as the summation 
from n equals to 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 times by 1 over 4n minus 1 minus 2 over 4n plus 1 over 4n plus 1. And I will not reduce the term 2 over 4n for reasons that we'll see later on. Then we can actually pull out this 1 over 2 and we're left with the same sum which is from n equals to 1 to infinity. And now this is 1 over 4n minus 1 and I will take off one term which is 1 over 4n and then we'll add it with 1 over 4n plus 1 and then I'll subtract 1 over 4n plus 2 then we'll add back 1 over 4n plus 2 and then the term remaining is just minus 1 over 4n and the reason that we rewrite everything in this form is that now we can see that we have alternating terms over here which then we can now use the alternating sum to evaluate this sum over here so now we can actually split this into two sums which is the first one is 1 over 2 times by the summation from n equals to 1 to infinity of 1 over 4n minus 1 minus 1 over 4n plus 1 over 4n plus 1 minus 1 over 4n plus 2 and then the second one is minus 1 over 4 times by the summation from n equals to 1 to infinity of 1 over 2n minus 1 over 2n plus 1 which you can see that I have pulled out a factor of minus 1 over 2 and times by the 1 over 2 in front we get minus 1 over 4 so now let's actually write out some terms of these two sums which you can see that writing each term out we can clearly see that this whole thing is equivalent to 1 over 2 times by 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 6 and the sum alternates up to infinity and the second one is minus 1 over 4 times by 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 5 all the way to infinity and then now these two sums seems quite similar to the alternating sum that we have at first but then we are missing some terms and they are not quite right so we can actually tweak them a bit which you can note that this whole thing can be rewritten as 1 over 2 times by 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 6 all the way to infinity and then because we have added this term 1 minus 1 over 2 which is 1 over 2 we must subtract off a term which is 1 over 2 so that overall it is just equal to 0 and we are not changing anything and for the second part it is negative 1 over 4 and now you can see that if you compare this sum to the alternating sum that we have you can note that the signs are not quite right because the signs are actually get flipped so we can actually flip it back by changing this negative sign to a plus sign leaving us with negative 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 6 all the way to infinity but then we have to match it with the alternating sum so we'll add 1 over here and we'll subtract off 1 at the back so now you can see that this whole thing over here is the natural law of 2 and the same thing happens over here so in the end we will just get the whole thing is equal to 1 over 2 times by natural law of 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 times by natural law of 2 minus 1 and so this is equal to negative 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4 times by natural law of 2 and then rewriting everything you can see that this whole thing can be rewritten in the desired form which is 1 plus 2 times by the summation from n equals to 1 to infinity of 1 over 4n the whole thing to the third power minus 4n is equal to 3 over 2 times by natural law of 2 by simply moving the term negative 1 over 2 to the left hand side and then multiplying the whole equation by 2
And so therefore, this proves the series above. And now let's take a look at the second method, which is by using integrals. So for the second method, we'll use integrals, which we'll first notice that this whole sum, we can actually rewrite it as 1 over 2 times by the sum from n equals to 1 to infinity, x to the power of 4n minus 1 over 4n minus 1 minus 2 times by x to the power of 4n over 4n plus x to the power of 4n plus 1 over 4n and then we'll evaluate it at 1 and 0. And now we can note that the inner part of this sum is actually equivalent to the antiderivative from 0 to 1 of the expression x power of 4n minus 2 minus 2 times by x power of 4n minus 1 plus x to the power of 4n dx. And then now we can easily switch the integration with the summation. So this will leave us with 1 over 2 times by the integral from 0 to 1 of the sum from n equals to 1 to infinity of x to the power of 4n minus 2 minus 2 times by x to the power of 4n minus 1 plus x to the power of 4n. The whole thing dx. And then because each sum over here is actually a geometric sum, and then it is also an infinite geometric sum. So you can easily see that this whole thing is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared minus 2 times by x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 4 over 1 minus x to the power of 4 dx. It is simply because we know that all the common ratio over here is r being x to the power of 4. And then by using the formula which is a over 1 minus r, where a is the leading term of this infinite geometric sum, we can easily get that this whole thing sums up to this fraction over here. So now we just have to evaluate this integral, where we note that the numerator over here can actually be factorized into x squared times by 1 minus 2x plus x squared, and then this is obviously equal to x squared times by 1 minus x to the second power. And then the denominator over here can also be factorized as 1 plus x squared times by 1 minus x squared because they are difference of 2 squared. And then this can be further factorized as 1 plus x squared times by 1 minus x times by 1 plus x. And then now we note that there is a common term of 1 minus x, so therefore we can actually cancel it off. And then this whole integral becomes 1 over 2, the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared, 1 minus x over 1 plus x times by 1 plus x squared dx. And then the technique that we are going to use to evaluate this integral is actually through partial fraction decomposition again. But here, because we have the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, we have to first use a polynomial division in order to reduce the degree in the numerator. So we just have to expand off the numerator and the denominator. So the numerator is the same thing as negative x cubed plus x squared. And the denominator is the same thing as x to the power of 3 plus x squared plus x plus 1. And then now you can simply note that we can actually rewrite the whole thing by pulling out a negative 1 outside. And then you're left with the numerator is just 2x squared plus x plus 1 over 1 plus x times by 1 plus x squared dx. It's simply because you can just note that the numerator can be rewritten as negative x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. And then we'll composite the terms that are being subtracted. So we will have to add 2x squared plus x plus 1. And now we just have to perform partial fraction decomposition on this term over here. So we'll set 2x squared plus x plus 1 
over 1 plus x times by 1 plus x squared to be equal to a over 1 plus x plus bx plus c over 1 plus x squared. And now we shall multiply the whole thing by 1 plus x and 1 plus x squared to clear off the fractions. So we we'll get this is a times by 1 plus x squared plus bx plus c times by 1 plus x is equal to 2x squared plus x plus 1. And then collecting the terms with x squared, x, and the constant part on the left hand side, we know that this whole thing is equal to a plus b times by x squared plus b plus c times by x plus a plus c. And now equating the terms with 2x squared plus x plus 1, we know that a plus b is equal to 2, b plus c is equal to 1, a plus c is also equal to 1. And based on these two equations over here, we know a is equal to b, which tells us that they are both equal to 1. And then we can easily see that c must be 0, meaning that the integrand over here can be rewritten as negative 1 plus 1 over 1 plus x plus x over 1 plus x squared dx. And then this is a simple integral where in the end you can actually see that this whole thing evaluates into 1 over 2 times by negative x plus natural law of 1 plus x plus 1 over 2 times by natural law of 1 plus x squared. And then we'll evaluate it at 1 and 0, which when you evaluate the whole thing by 0, you get everything vanishes. So we just have to evaluate it at x equals to 1, which you get this is equal to 1 over 2 times by negative 1 plus 3 over 2 natural law of 2. And then this is essentially the same as the first method, which is 1 plus 2 the sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of 1 over 4n the whole thing to third power minus 4n is equal to 3 over 2 the natural law of 2 and so this prove this identity over here and therefore we are done for this problem over here if you want to see more interesting series then be sure to watch this video over here